let's quickly go on to something different. This one um, is about Super Eagles player. We are talking about January transfer window. This, for me, is good news. If, good news, if it gets regular playing time. Because Monaco is star studded. Monaco have, I mean, a huge budget. They buy everybody. Ederson Echejele has gone to Monaco from Portugal. For me, is a move up. But for him, will he get playing time? Crucial in a World Cup year. Obviously, for a player like um, TGD to leave for Portugal to go to his stats on this side, he must have seen the first before, before, by the way. Yeah, 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 start start, start yeah. runs. Um, so, he must have seen, the, he must have seen the, the terrain, he must have understood the terrain, he must have seen, maybe probably the course is kick clear. Because I think. Um, maybe he's the language as well. Uh, yeah, because he's been there before. So, um, he's been very regular at where he was before. He's played a couple of uh, high profile games, played the yeah, Europa, Europa League with Portin Braha in the past. So, scores a couple of go- good goals. It's uh, super regular at Portin Braha. But he wants he wanted a, a, a better offer. Going to Monaco, I don't think it's not going to, it's going to, it's going to be um, a difficult one for him. Mm. Because one, I think the only the only left-footed player that can, I think the can, the other, that can challenge him coming in, maybe the Abida. But Abida is so, he, he player that is quite he's in his prime. Mm. Of course, we know the we know the surgery issue and mm. some other issues. Mm. Challenge mm. even before, before, yeah. Monaco. Before we go on a break, what kind of I mean. What, what can you say about Ederson? For me, Ederson has grown. Oh yeah, since becoming a regular in the Super League, he's grown from that he's, skinny. He's, yeah, he's played, now uh, a lot more intelligent. Oh, yeah. He's now a lot, uh, a lot better mm. going forward. Mm. For me, I think he can fight his place and get regular playing time. What I am talking about here is looking at his move to Monaco and the Eagles mm. at the World Cup. I think it's a fantastic move mm. uh, because one, he has played in France before. He has experience of French championnat. Two. Uh, you know, uh, um, Monaco are obviously one of the two biggest clubs in, in France right second now. Second on the log right second now. Second on the log right now. Three, uh, in, in terms of competition, Monaco is top heavy. In the sense that they are more, the, the major stars or the major players are in yeah, the attack and midfield. Mm-hmm. There is not really much competition in the defense. In, in the defense. Eric Abidal, who uh, Jim Nodi mentioned, now because of age, in our plays in central defense, uh, you never see him move out to the wings very mm-hmm. rarely. So I'm thinking he can get a good uh, shouting for, uh, at Monaco, get regular playing time. For me, it's a good move. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not sure if he's cup tied, uh, so he might still feature in Europe, uh, but it, it's, it's still a, an excellent move on all accounts. Both for the player for for Nigeria as well mm. and for Monaco, I'm just uh, mm. he has to congratulate his agent for getting him such an excellent move. That's mm. my opinion. Mm. Mm. All right, let, let, let me just read a few comments on Twitter very quickly. Um, Olufemi Michael is talking about Blatter. He says the man that wants to challenge Blatter should be ready to face all the allegations that will be thrown at him. Uh, he says nobody can challenge Blatter. That's what he says. And um, Ademola Alabi at Ademola underscore Alabi is talking about the Chan Eagles. He says, poor Agbim, the weakest link in the Chan Eagles. I'm afraid Nigeria might not make it to the quarterfinals. That's what he says. Um, and um, awesome God at um, Bola G. Ayo says, um, Blatter is old. He should slow down now. Um, I think we should start grooming Amos Adamu for the job. Amos Adamu has just come out of, of, a, of a ban. And I like the way he's gone about getting himself. He's a, he says he's a different person. Reintegrated. Reintegrating himself. He says he's a different person now. He's learned a few lessons. I'm sure he doesn't want to rush into things right now. He says he wants to do some other areas of sports like marketing and lasers and some other things. So, But anything can change at any time. Oh, yeah. Anything can change. But I don't think... As early as next year, Imo Sadamu will be ready for Blatter. No. Maybe Africa. Maybe Africa. But not Blatter yet. <laughs> Maybe even Wafu. But, uh, uh, not, I don't think Blatter yet. No, so, I don't think, uh, so. I don't think Blatter yet. All right. Uh, Deborah Ikechuku says, I think that Blatter should give it a rest. It's time for a change. Platini taking over might not be a bad idea after all. Platini. Platini is... is Black yes. Boy is also getting old. old. No, but no, Platini, no, Platini has some... Let me be president of the FIFA executive members are mm, between yeah. 6, 70 and mm. 80. They are old men. They are old, they are old, old people. So, Platini is not exactly... Showing old, too much of interest. No, no. He, Platini is a young... He, he, he's fairly he, young compared to the other guy. Yeah. But he has some particularly radical ideas that I'm not sure everybody might be comfortable with. Mm. He's proposing change a, lot of a Europe-wide um, um, European Championship now that have different, different cities. cities. Who says you can't have a World Cup that might be hosted on all the five the world? But, 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 but come to think of it, it was the same radical um, ideas that 
change European football. It was the same way the ideas that started football in the yeah, first place. Because it was the same idea that okay. changed right? was the same idea that brought him into, mm. into, into well, the, the days ahead yeah. will we'll throw up a lot of these candidates mm. and uh, we'll be able to see clearly. So please continue uh, to tell us who you feel should challenge those that feel should come up. Let's, let's quickly take a look at um, the African Nations Championship currently going on in South Africa. Let's fill you in with the results of games. Today it was uh, Ghana First withdrawal by Libya, exciting game, good quality, good standard of football. Uh, the Ghanaians uh, held uh, by Libya 1 1. And then just now, Ethiopia became the second team to crash out. They lost 0 1 to Congo. They've lost two games now um, on the bounce. They, they can have only three points, and two teams are already on four points. So um, Ethiopia are out. Their coach, after the friendly in Abuja, says he's predicting the Nigeria Ethiopia final. They are out of it. It can't happen. But I hope the Eagles will not uh, follow them out as well. Tomorrow, Congo DR, Group D. Uh, in Group D, Congo DR will be taking on Gabon. Congo DR had a victory, I think, a victory from their first game. Yeah. Um, and then uh, they'll be taking on Gabon. And then Burundi will be taking on Mauritania. Burundi and Gabon played at the goalers during their first game. So there's everything to play for. On Sunday, all eyes on Cape Town. Group A, final round of games. Nigeria against South Africa. As I speak to you, I'm told that the South Africans have been consulting the Juju men, the Voodoo priest, everybody that needs yeah, to be they consulted. Muti, muti, the muti, muti men muti. in South Africa. Just to see that for a change, the result that they've been gathering against Nigeria is different this time. But I'm telling you, it won't be different. We'll beat them again with God on our side. Mozambique against Mali. Mozambique already out, but it could be spoilers if they get the result um, against Mali. And that's another uh, permutation that is um, uh, possible. All right, um, South Africa, their goalkeeper, they told us, has ankle problems and may not be fit for Nigerian game. It's melancholy. It's melancholy, but it changes nothing. We want him to be fit because we want to beat the best. To beat the best, you have to beat. We don't want any excuses that because our keeper was injured. We are also missing a number of our key guys, but we want everybody there because we want to win fair, plain, clean. It means that Kule uh, cool mm. seems to be one of the best goalkeeper in South Africa. He's the best. He's the captain of the national team. He's the best. So don't take anything away from the fact that even if he gets injured, a replacement, he's still a goalkeeper. He's not a striker. 